trouble in turn two. Red flag on the speedway. We will stop this one. A little bit of momentum, and boy, he got it, didn't he, Kenny? Yes, he did. Oh, oh trouble. Holmes. Justin Lofton into the back of the 60. Patrick Shelton spins. Into the wall he goes. And now Kimball spins around. Oh, and a big hit on Justin, or on the 60 of Patrick Sheltra. Our sixth caution of the day comes out, and what a big hit that was from the 23 of Larry Hollenbeck. Yeah, Larry was running up in the eighth spot when they came by here last time, and boy, did he make hard contact with Patrick Sheltra. The 44 with damage. The 60, that's Patrick Sheltra waiting for that window net to come down. As that red flag is displayed, and there it's displayed. They'll relay that information to all the officials, and I'm sure the official will stop. There he is telling him, you can't work on the car anymore. Welcome back. Lucas Oil slick miss 200 under a red flag condition. Larry Holland back in the 23, being helped out of his race car. Take a look at that. What a great sign as Larry Hollenbeck salutes the crowd as the safety crew helps him from his race car. As you can see, they took every precaution, Rick, as you mentioned. They had a backboard out and, and uh, put Larry on. Looks like he's, you know, obviously in pretty good spirits. It was a big smile as well as a wave and a yeah. thumbs up. And uh, now they're going to obviously take him to the infield care center and check him over a little bit more thoroughly. And we're just being told that Patrick Shelter has been removed from the race car and he has been put in the ambulance. So we will try to keep you up to date on everything that is going on with both drivers. Larry Hollenbeck, we saw him get out of that race car. And now we know that Patrick Shelter is out of his race car and headed for the infield care center. At the bottom of your screen, this watch was the 51. Earlier. Watch the 51 of Eddie Mercer. He's going to move up a little bit. He's going to make some contact with the 32 of Kelly. Oh, oh trouble. Problems. That's Bobby Gerhardt in the five. The 09 of John West Townley. The 74 also involved in this. J.R. Hefner. There's the 40 of Troy Rangren. He gets hit by a very crippled Bobby Gerhardt in that five car. You know, what, I'm curious to see what happens there. That was a, a, a shot of the Venturini pits. Looks like Mark Thompson may be sitting on pit road. A lot of damage to that 74 car, J.R. Hefner. Another look. Oh, the contact right there between the 51 of Eddie Mercer and the five of Bobby, Bobby Gerhardt. Mm. What's the... Is the five checking up though for something? He may have been checking up for the 25, possibly Mark Thompson, because it looks like he was slowing down and actually moved to the inside, and Eddie was there. Here we go. There's another view. See, they're checking up in front, and Bobby backed off a little bit and it was had moved. They were checking yeah. up for the 25 of Mark Thompson when Mark, that engine finally looked like it, it expired. Then Mark was slowing down, and everybody was taking evasive action to get around that 25. And it looked like Bobby got off the throttle, moved up the racetrack a little bit, and when he came back down, that's when he made the contact. Right right there with the 51. The 25's engine problem, yep. and he, he was doing everything he could do. He was at the bottom of the racetrack checking up. Disappointment, Eddie Sharp racing. Red flag has been displayed as they clean up what took place in turn number four coming out of four and just in front of pit road so you see the cars parked on the back stretch right now